What's up guys? This is the Rofam and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off what happened last time, we had a cataclysmically good turn. We've invaded Britain, we're conquering their cities, we've secured the Iberian Peninsula, we've taken Morocco, we're pushing east across North, North Africa. Um, and we also, so Russia was at war with us and I was really concerned about this guy potentially throwing us off balance. So I tried to make peace with the with the Russians. They wanted Athens, and as you can see I traded it with them, but they wanted uh, they, they gave me 43,000 gold which I immediately spent upgrading a lot of my um, industry, which I think is excellent. I think I may end up having to destroy one of these to replace it with a happiness building because I want to upgrade this guy to the next university. I just want to upgrade Florence because it's the wealthier of the two um, buildings. But things are going very well, I think. Scotland's unhappy. They've got a university there, but getting rid of that should certainly... That'll, that'll pretty much chill them out permanently. Inverness is about to grow, which is another town. But soon we will have London... We'll have a good position on the North Atlantic coast. We're driving against the British in North Africa. There's a chance this army will drive east and attack us here at Cairo, but I have no doubt we will send them spiralling back into nothingness. Um, we have to wait a few turns for Algiers to chill out. Um, that probably won't take long. Um, then we're going to push on to Tunis and Tripoli. Britain's pretty much nearly dead. Let's just say that. So all these ships they've got Poof. Into nothingness. Yeah, these tactical retreats were the retreats from my troops out of Athens here. But right now, we are actually in a pretty good position. And our head of government isn't super great. So he's plus one. Very happy. Very good for the nobility. And he's plus two justice, plus one treasury. So he's basic, so he's pretty much four stars basic, so he's six for justice, but our justice minister's is really good. Looks like we're going to try and hire his brother. Harsh reputation. Don't want that minus one lower classes. Okay, so let's do the old trick again. Hire all these guys with the best at the back. So next time, you get a whole a fresh set of candidates. Yep, yeah, that was Algiers, which is apparently being converted. Blitzed in turn. So now, we're actually earning a, a very, very, very big amount of cash a turn. Well, I'll say very big. 13,000 a turn. So, thankfully, the Swedes are now at war with the Austrian... With the, um, with the uh, Swedes. No, with the Dutch, sorry. So I'm not bothered about them. I've just got to grow, grow, grow. That's the name of the game. I hope they're just going to rebalance their... Redeploy their troops into the Black Sea. Which it looks like that's what they're doing. As they continue to try and steal my technology, the Devils... But overall, I'm feeling much more reinvigorated with this campaign. So Sweden, they're probably going to uh, deploy that army in a frustrating place. So maybe it might be uh, time for me to gather my navy together. The Mughals are coming. I suspect we will probably go to war once more. Got a rake in Egypt, so let's send the rake over to Tripoli. Spain's built his port. Let's build this building. Let's take Lisbon and start to build up a start to put up a force here. Scotland has now come under our control. As we've got rid of the university, they're happy with that. Inverness is about to grow, so let's rebuild. 
the buildings here. Let's not bother to punt their ships out. They're not doing anything there. They're not doing any damage. Sardinia has built up an army to go occupy the port here. So how good of a navy is this? Not a super good navy. Okay, so let's take our big ships down to Syracusa. Let's drop a Dragoon into Ravenna just to stop any sneaky attacks. Let's build a sloop there as well. You are going to be a coaching in. See, they're already not super happy with us. Military Academy would be good, but I want to strengthen my economy first. Um, let's take some of our bigger ships over to the Syracuse as we start to build a bigger fleet. Oh, do I make a second? Do I make my second rate admiral? Or do I recruit two ships here? Upgrade the Jesuit College. Keep Cairo growing. Keep them getting happier and happier. I think that's the order of the day. And also build a church school here so my missionary can drive on into Tunis. So they're still being converted. I mean, I can't leave... These men can't leave the army. Can't leave the, the, the settlement. Yeah, they could, but they'd break something. So I think I'm going to leave them in there for now. Can't build a sloop, but I want to upgrade Oran as well. So maybe these guys fall back to Madrid. Okay, works on striking Scotland. Not any more than not. They love us, especially once we've repaired everything. They'll like us even more. And when this army is replenished, they'll march south and hit London. And they will not like us. But we can destroy the university, we destroy the college. Actually, it's a dockyard. Are you upgrading it to something useful? That'd be pretty neat. Okay, let's hit end turn. That's right, Ottomans. You continue your silly little effort. Hopefully the Ottomans and the Russians go to war. Looks like Sweden's probably bringing another fleet. Oh yeah, they're going to go take Sardinia. No, I no visibility on what the Mughals are planning yet. Suspicious death. So, ah, there's a rake on this island then. New port emerges. It's Belfast. New town emerges in Venice. Let's just get a cheap building going there. Okay, you guys start building up an army to take the war to the Swedes because it looks like they're starting to position ships and troops where they need them. If we take Cagliari, that's not bad. As far as potential losses go, it's pretty good. So let's go down to this naval hospital here and let's pick up an Admiral's flagship first rate. To sail over and join the fleet here. So this army in Algiers. You can push out. And we can also pick up a sloop to occupy the town there. 
Let's move these dragoons back up to here. If they if they declare war on us, then we'll immediately put their city here under siege. And I'd like actually can I leave Edinburgh without them rioting? I can. March down to London. Don't attack them, put them under siege, and they're earning 17,000 a turn. Okay, lots more ports have been built. They don't like us. The, the, the uh, Dutch don't like us because of our territorial expansion. They want Gibraltar? No. No way, Jose. Not giving up Gibraltar. Okay, so I want to build an army. If Sweden declares on us, I want to push up towards Paris and start to intercept their forces. Because this could be the start of the... Uh, the next great war um, because we'll be fighting everybody so let's push you guys up so you've still got some movement points they're minus one on happiness but that will go down religious unrest is being chipped away start converting the population in Tunis good so what have you got here Fairly mixed bag of troops, but a bunch of colonial lime, which we're going to absolutely melt with quick lime. So our mission here is still successful. Good. <laughs> okay, they're going to fall back. I very much do need to grow a navy but I, you know I've, I've got so many threats on land that this is the kind of thing I need to do focus on focus on the war on land so when Sweden Sweden is absolutely going to declare on me this is what the AI does but every turn that they wait we grow in strength. Missionary in Ireland. Perfect. So you got to Edinburgh. Morocco's got roads. Algiers got the religious building. Okay, 12,000 we've got. So let's pick up some of these Spanish industry buildings because they're quite high wealth. Your army's growing. So you've got all your artillery. You've got a unit of militia, which isn't super useful. We're going to get a general next turn with, with two cuirassiers. Anything I'd probably like you to get some... Swiss Guard and Grenadiers in there. So we probably don't need four of that infantry. So let's get rid of those guys. So what's that? A recruitment space of seven units and you've got seven right there. Good. Hmm. So let's get back to Rome. Pick up this coaching in because next turn I will go to upgrade my university there. Oh, and I'll... I could, build a, I could build a fishing port. Can't recruit any ships of value because I've already spent all the money. One more turn to get the dry dock. Okay, you don't fully push up yet. Uh... You replace the Jesuit College. Then as things like Morocco becomes... I mean, I could do it now, to be honest. Switch this guy over to a industrial building. Oh, geez, the workers are on strike, but now they're okay. Cool. You... can now put London under siege. I have no intentions to attack it, because... 
Because <laughs> I really can't afford to screw around. Jamie Hampton. Actually, what are you building? I'm building a dry dock. I've already got a dry dock, so I'm not super bothered about that. I would. See, if I had a good navy, I would be so tempted to intercept those ships. Okay, so let's maybe not both go for farming techs. Although there's a limit to what they can go for. You go for a form naval administration to keep pushing down the tree. The naval tree. Aha! They've sallied out at London. Good stuff. Yeah. See, if it was just me fighting Britain and I was pretty confident in my position in the campaign, um, I probably would attack. But because we're on the balance of me being attacked by not just Russia, Sweden and the Ottomans, but the Mughal Empire, which now dominates two theatres. So I've got to be really careful. And also deploy back so I don't have any silly... So I don't have any silly uh, mortar shots trying to kill me. Come on, actually. So instead of angling, you guys just kick you out straight. Okay, dump. Two artillery on the left, dump an artillery on the right, both sides gets a unit of cavalry, general, keep an eye out. How it says all drop quick climb if you got it. Okay, speed up time to the AI can decide what it's going to do. The mortars aren't firing, which is excellent. Do we hit anyone with with round shot? Yeah, they can drop round shot into the inside the city, or at least one unit can. Well, they may as well. Damn, that's quite good actually. The gunners, the mortar crews have abandoned their guns. Which is what we like to see. And they're going to charge my lines. Oh yeah, these other guys that have got quick climb, just quick climb the hell out of them. I mean, my artillery's not giving them much quarter either. At what point do you realise you made a spectacularly oh god it's one guy he's dodging the gunfire okay they can't really hit anyone with round shot either Let's just see what they want to do. I think their guns have started firing, or at least one of them. I fired off a volley, and that's it. to wait to see uh, I'll just push my cavalry up to try and incentivize them to push out and attack me are you gonna do it hmm. 
I don't want to leave my position because I've got quite a nice defensive position. They don't have mortars, but I've got my gun line set up and my artillery's got good fields of fire. And If they try to rebalance after they've set their lineup, then I probably will. Um, but until then, I probably don't want to risk it, really. You can shoot Highlander Warband. I don't know why I didn't just tell them to shoot at people earlier. Hey, at the 50 second. So let's see how the AI reacts. Who's to oh, someone's hidden that's deploying, I suppose. Because they're hidden, it's probably going to take a <laughs> Good old AI. It's like saving Private Ryan. Give him a rabbit to chase. Okay, keep pounding them with round shot for now. Both of you two sh Yeah, you're both... Oh, that'd be handy if I could have got them to both drop. Quick climb onto the front door. But speed up time till they get a bit closer. Yes! Till they get in quick climb range. Probably want to do something like this in order to give them good canister shot arcs. Here comes the quick climb. Well, they missed. Irish volunteers. Garrison Provincial Militia, Garrison Line, Garrison Line. Go on my house units to start firing against these chips. Oh, thought there might have been quick climb shots coming in. Sad face. Good hit into that. The 52nd Regiment of Infantry. Cole Howard says, get your deadly payload out into the world. And they're off. Fired short. Sixteenth Light Horse Hussars wandering up. Just get ready to fire a canister shot. You want to hit this unit here. The cavalry just trotting towards us, happy as a clown. Still killing them. You are killing that regiment there. Oh yes, excellent quick climb hit. Now 
another good hit straight bang into the middle of the 50 second send the cavalry wide because this flank's looking a bit sparse Charge the provincial militia. If we can take out the left flank, then we'll have a lot of wiggle room to push these guys around and help support the center. Make sure our howitzers aren't attacking the uh, it's a light horse unit. Make them break, do a lot of damage before getting involved in your next combat. Bring my general around to continue attacking the Highlanders. Chase down the 52nd Regiment instead. Push these guys further up around the flank. Blast the centre. The 19th Regiment has broken. British Hussars are shaken because they can't stand toe to toe with my regiment of horse. It's my lovely cavalry here. They're doing a great job. You guys change targets onto this square formation here. If, you keep, if I keep pushing these hussars that way, they'll eventually start running into the line of fire of my cavalry. God damn, quicklime is so awesome. Exactly what I need. And yep, chase down the Irish volunteers. We own your we own your land now, fools. Good, the Highland War Band is going to has decided it wants to charge my infantry. 16th Hussars. Got onto a bit of a suicide charge. Good stuff. Group all my howitzers together and all hit the 35th. They're trying to push elements of the 321st and the 35th into there. You're, you're supposed to tell me who's pushing them in there and where the hell are they? I hope someone knows what film's that from. What film that is from. Great, great film. I could find myself being a bit of a being pedantic about that genre of films at times just because I love them so much uh, but that one despite all of its flaws it's just so brilliantly written and the production quality is good enough that I just don't care about any problems it has
Okay, don't worry about the cavalry. I think that's everything apart from the... I'm going to continue just because we have an opportunity to do a lot of damage to their garrison. So I think I'd have to be a bit doolally to ignore it. Might not get them all, because we've not got a huge amount of uh, cavalry. But we can really, really gut the garrison. Stuff. Go. Oh, so the people in my comments that talk about not liking it when uh, the British lose a battle, you're really not going to like these next few episodes, or the you know this episode and the previous episode. Come on, just in time. Ah, they made it. But that was an exceptional slaughter before the gates of London. Oh, jeez, we only lost 115 men. Yep, Britain's trying to uh, shore up their position everywhere they can. And just know this, rest of the world, we're going to make you pay. So Sweden's declared... They've not been joined by anyone. So they're going to push in and take Turin, which is expected. But this is it now, fellas. They're going to take Sardinia again. That's okay. Our army in, Mal in Madrid is ready. They are going to push towards Paris. And now it's on. Oh, it's on. I would like to... If I could build a... Yeah, so we've lost a couple of territories. But you guys... We're going to take Milan. Well, actually we're going to do that for now. Move my ships so they don't get too exposed. What we want to do is steam and dry dock. That would be very useful. But let's take our first, first, our first, first rate. He can join the fleet. Not with another secondary yet, because I do want to do. Some economy spendings. We're down to 7,000, which is not much at all for an army this size. But I think I'm going to take this army. Not replenish. Then we're going to take London. I mean, I definitely should have done it during this episode, but I should, I should definitely have uh, checked my timer. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> It's not going to be a very big battle anyway. It'll be very long. We've already fought. Well, we've done most of the damage. But my... Yeah, I want to have a couple of thousand ready to repair key buildings. Good. So let's get a bunch of guys on the flank, ready to push in. Got three infantry line units to provide some support for our guns. And we've also got some cavalry in. They can actually drop round shot on the centre. So I might do that instead of firing quick line.
was curious to see. Yeah, so if I don't if I don't attack the center, um, they don't attack me. They don't charge out. Okay, well then let's do it this way. Do you have accurate gunnery? They managed to down one of my howitzers. This unit's already complaining. What's the matter, 32 men? Don't you want to fight in a battle such as this? Black powder bas blasting by the sun on all sides. Quick line dropping in. I might just start attacking the mortars with my howitzers, and if these guys want to charge out, then that's okay. I'll just push my infantry up. Infantry line. Charge straight for the light, light, light howitzers, I suppose, actually. Yeah, they are determined to go for my gunners, especially. Just run my gunners out of the way. Gunners back to their guns. Here's a question Can my foot artillery engage in the center of the engage the center of the, t of the town? The answer is yes. Very well, then. How it says instead. Line the hell out of everything you can see. Yeah, they've suddenly realised they can do it too. And they actually got a bunch of my men there. Either way, now is the time. Mortars are firing, so let's get our men to run. Start offering invasion orders to our men. Not all of them, because there is going to be a subs there's going to be a couple of units that can probably just afford to. Uh, Wait. These men are here to engage the men that are silly enough to exit the breach. General's been killed. Struck by a round shot. The cavalry's coming out. Let's bring my cavalry up in case they don't. They, in case they run around this way.
you men form square, you men form square, you could stay in line formation. Fire all off for you so you don't fire into the square and kill a bunch of your own men. Now fire away. Because that just absolutely decimated their cavalry. Fall back into line. These men, well for them, their plan is to, uh, if we capture the gatehouse, to just charge through it. Good lads, up come the Grenadier Guards. So let's get this unit to intercept the militia as they charge up, so these men can safely get down this section of the wall here. Form a bridgehead inside. Although, to be honest, there's. Say, form a bridgehead, there's nothing in there to uh, defend against. As our men begin to swarm the walls. goes to start dropping round shot in the centre as well, because they may as well. They're just about holding on to the gatehouse, but not for long. Taking the armory. Well, it's just a house, actually. It's not an armory. Barracks, barracks, command, HQ, armory. Oh, okay. Kill the last two Britishers that hold the gate. It's only two left, and you're against fighting prime grenadiers. One man left. So this gatehouse should be ours. And it is. Storm in, fellows. And to be honest, the rest of these guys are just going to uh, get shot to hell. There's only two men remaining. They're dodging all these bullets, and one of them is the officer with his pike. Not anymore, he isn't. Look at this brave man. One man against an entire army. He ceased to exist. Uh, 
let's just charge in. Stop all our artillery fire. How about you, sir? Turn firewall off. Don't worry, they'll all rout soon. attack the 45th Regiment of Militia. That might be why they're holding on. There they go. They've all routed. The 45th have also routed. Beyond in the distance lies the city of London. She is ours, lads. London is ours. London has fallen. The British still exist. However, this is is a serious serious victory so they're minus 19 if we get rid of the get rid of the university that will deal with a big chunk of it and we can't oh, okay let's try we can't rebuild somerset house but we can rebuild this building let's also get rid of the college of divinity it's also probably well some of these things we can't actually deal with at the minute send cavalry out to go and It's become minus 20. Then if I move my cavalry back. Let's try to build some defences in the city. Because now we are getting the income. We're back up to 10,000 a turn now. Then we have this army. Two turns till you're ready. Till you're fully equipped. Then I can fire you north and start to interdict. Swedish forces here. It may even be beneficial to take out Milan quicker, sooner rather than later. So what kind of navy have you got here? It's very damaged, lots of it's very upset. This navy would beat it, probably. Okay, so what's the what's the option do we do? Do we knock out this guy first, then go for Tunis? Because I think that's the right option. First, let's go take out Milan. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to run the park because I've overrun significantly. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian states. Cheers, everyone.